What's up guys, this is the Rifleman, and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to pick up happened last time, we have decided to engage the Prussians on the field of battle, and I will be doing a... Uh, probably something more... Oh, I don't know, do I be something to be more offensive, or do I sit back with my long-range artillery? Um, I don't know. But we're going to engage this force and start picking up, picking at some of these Russian stack, uh, Prussian stacks that are roving through my territories. And the idea will soon have them cut off from bases of resupply. Uh, eventually these armies will just run out of steam. And then eventually I'll have about a dozen or so stacks to swarm over the world. And no one will be able to stop me. That means you too, Italy. Trouble is, what are we not Balkans? I've got North Africa. Italy is like a, uh, a little salient to which I don't want to... Ooh, it's a nice, it's a nice looking little hill up here. Deploy my artillery back. Deploy centre of fusiliers. Who can then also reinforce their position with stakes. I think I've, I think I've got way too much artillery in this, these uh, forces. We're giving them, you know, horse. Okay, actually, let's make this just line infantry. On the flank. Then I probably want to put put you of marines covering this side. Some line infantry covering this side. A couple of unit grenadiers. Uh, unit grenadiers. Then let's group you. Then light infantry. Maybe get them, put them here, ready to deploy stakes, which also means turn firewall off for here. Deploy my howitzer back. See, I am petrified of mortars, particularly now they'll have quick loam. So I can't even engage with round, so round shots. See, they deployed up. My regiment of artillery has a range of 600, so these guys shouldn't be able to fire. So I put on stakes with these guys, it provides a bit of protection for my howitzers, for my cannons, sorry. Go on, then let's fall back. Not moving up artillery on the left. Let's get everyone to deploy stakes, but then let's get my keep my artillery firing. No, actually, let's just hold. Let's actually just hold firing, so these guys can safely deploy their stakes. And this is going to be a mighty wall of stakes. So you wouldn't normally worry, but they've got enough units of uh, cavalry here. That, and I've got time. Look at that mighty emplacement. My entire front line. Okay, now they're within range. Let's hit them with some quick climb. So let's hit this unit of Lancer Guards because they're at the right. They're at the right angle. Fire at will with shrapnel shot. Fire at will with shrapnel. Fire with a shrapnel and hit this unit of guard to call that's right in front of you. Oh wow. I have no cavalry of this. This is a fortress breaking army. So let's run you over here and get you over here. Then ultimately let's curve this wing in, somewhat losing the protection of my spikes, but ultimately um, 
don't think it'll be a problem. Got another another volley into this horse guard unit. Forty-eight. Forty. Thirty-six. Couple of misses. And some retreats. Senior of Light Infantry, they've not... Okay, now they've started to abandon their mortars. These guys have some long range on them. Oh, I didn't know they didn't do fire at will. They're fired by rank. Oh, they are. They're just engaging. This unit was just engaging uh, eight cavalry, so... Let's get you guys into the mix. Because yeah, their mortars have abandoned their guns. So I think this has been my first battle where I've had Fusiliers be my, uh, the bulk of my forces. Okay, we've got to be careful with that cavalry back there. Ah, they charge my charge my heavy horse. Let's commit my marines. Okay, now switch these guys to round shot and have them start picking at the artillery at the back. Now my infantry's in the way. Okay, there. Let's do that just so they fill in the gap. There you go. Here comes some some attacks. That was inevitable, I was exposing. They've got offensive of their mortars. They no wait a minute. These guys don't even have their mortars. They're chewing up the tuna of line infantry guards. Keep, sorry, I looked at the wrong uh, unit. Okay. 
I don't think fusiliers are as good as regular troops. General. comes the shrapnel shot. Overwhelm their guns with targets. Where's my general? General, general, general. Oh, that's frustrating. They're the ones I want. I'll take a unit of line infantry. Hmm, this combat's still going on. It's a bit of a surprise. Won't be lasting for very long, though. Quickly continue on triple speed just because, although I can't really, I can't capitalize on it. I may as well. Uh, I may as well try and knock a few units out, as the idea is to make sure we sweep them off the field. Five. Two, one. Ah, oh, because everyone else is routed. Cool. So actually, did manage to to wipe that unit out. Too frequent detachment. There's general news who have had political experience tend to protect every point. There you go. It's a nice loss. It's a, a routing army. Do I do the? I can do the same again. Bit different because so I've ended up uh, there lots of flying in the trees and actually, I don't know actually it went it went pretty well so I've got well the main thing is that I got my Dan you also saw how it didn't really matter that their crews abandoned their mortars they just ran up close to me and fired with their mystical voodoo guns well, let's do the same again, I think. Except the formation will just be smaller. I'm not going to put so much of an emphasis on defending my guns with units now. Because we saw it didn't really matter. So let's just spread out the wings. Yeah, let's put the light infantry too. 
keep them back here. Keep them here for now. Oh no, I do need to keep something close to the guns so they don't get screwed over. Okay, let's put a unit of... This strong unit of the line. They can go there. The rest of them, you wait here. Fusil is, deploy stakes, which necessitates again I do this. Because I've got so much, well, I've got, got some good cavalry. That's my main concern. Bit of a pain in the ass. It does mean I sacrifice some element of uh, artillery product, artillery firing. But I think it'd be worth it for the product for the protection that this gives my uh, my line. What's that? Three ranks of of uh, of uh, spikes. Oh, it's the foot howitzer I'm worried about. Can't hit them with shrapnel, but you hit them. Fire it will, because it looks like a unit of uh, fusiliers is bugged out. Yeah, this unit fusil is bugged out, so I may as well just run them back into position. in smart order. Hit that unit of cuirassiers again. Oh. Deploy my wing again, same as before. Worth bearing in mind that Prussian infantry, I think, I think except for um, for British infantry, is just the best in the game. Or maybe it might be the one that's above, just one above the British um, British infantry. Let's give my house just to hit some local targets because they've got some inf they've got some. Uh, Guys are actually doing some business. It's poor superior line infantry that was fighting many, many units at once. So let's bring the wing up again. Get some cavalry coming around. These are cuirassiers, but they're weakened cuirassiers, so... Oh, 
don't bother about hitting the guns. We're in a good enough position to bring fire up onto them. These grenadiers are hopefully going to fire onto that Union Superior line on the flank. So they go charge the Union of Marines and the Union of Grenadiers. My marines could take out that unit of artillery. Ooh, quick line. <laughs> oh man. Absolute destruction. It's going more to the snipe at their general. You're in for a bit of a bit of a surprise, horse artillery. Ooh. So they tried to limber up, but they're not going to get the chance. One strong unit of line and one strong unit of oh well one general unit so there you go should be able to make the general route because they're constantly going to constantly be picked at I can hear my quick line coming in but it's missed or was it aiming at the wrong unit. Try tag him. Definitely make sure my quick climb is retargeted. Just tag him, just tag him, and then they'll spin around and do combat. There's the general, oh, he's going to get away. Well, where's my general? not pressing shift down it turns out so let's just halt fire on all my artillery again it won't last long because the battlefield isn't that big um, but it would be worth because as these guys run out of, run out of the field of fire get them Because, yeah, everyone else is going to route in time. No problems about that. So, let's, I may as well chew up a unit of line infantry that the universe gives me. Seven, six, six. Got him. Good. So, this. Good, good, good. 
Yeah, 333 lost for 1,383 of theirs, and these are armies that won't easily be able to be won't easily be able to be replaced. Ah, the Maratha Invasion Fleet is on the move. So I've been, I've not been able to uh, time it correctly. I don't know where they're going to strike. I just know that they will. I mean, hopefully my fleet arrives, and then I'll have a look. But uh, but they should have got to the trade theatre in one movement there. Unless for some reason they've decided to hold off for a turn. That could be possible. Hmm. It's intriguing. Problem to attack. I think I might do. Um, but looking at the timer, uh, that would bring me away over this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And to join me next time, where I allow the uh, forces of Persia to attack me. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.